Today at Mullen Machinery, we have a Hardinge HLVH. Super precision tool room lathe. Serial number 11778. That would make it new in 1983. Came out of one of the Fortune 500 companies. The machine is inch metric, the threading. Has a three jar just true chuck on it. A track two axis digital readout. A Loris AXA tool post. Albrecht keyless chuck. Coolant pump. This has the full backsplash with the flip down shield in the front. Then we have some two tr trays of collets. In the bottom one we have a live center and we have a 5C center. We have a uh, coolant line. We have the spindle protector for when the uh, chuck is off. Machine is all original paint. Paint's pretty decent because it's wore on the edges of the pan where people like to pile their tools and work. Machine is wired for 208, 230, three phase. See all the paints on it. Didn't plug the light in, but it has the original hard inch light in the back. Has a hard inch dial indicator. I'm by myself, so bear with me. I'm gonna put the camera in a uh, tripod. We have it on threading right now, so we'll run threading first. Yes. Hardinges are always a pleasure to thread on because you could just reverse by flick, flicking the uh, lever or you could back it out of the work quickly with the handle on the compound. I have it off right now on this one but there will be a handle on there. Okay, let's get it out of threading. Now we're just in feed, so let's see. There's your low feed, low speed. There it is at a thousand RPM. You barely hear it. There's your carriage feed. Bear with me, we get shadows in here this time of day, so the clarity isn't always the best. Carriage feed toward the headstock. Toward the tail start, we can speed it up and slow it down. There's your in feed. There we are, high speed, 3000 RPM. A little chatter is just the collet closer because we don't have a collet in it at the moment. See the digital readout works. It must be in metric at the moment. Uh, I'm not quite clear on how you switch from metric to English on this one, but I have to read the book. This machine has the coolant pump in the back. We haven't filled it up or tried it, but it looks like it's in good shape. I'm not concerned about the coolant pump. Overall, it seems to be a good condition machine. I don't really see any, aside from a little discoloration, I don't feel any wear, I don't feel any grooves or anything on the ways. Just a handful of discoloration marks from leaving the way wiper in position. The way wipers, uh, we'll probably change them. They're there, but they're starting to show they're tired, all the real ones. What? 
gone. So we'll change the way wipe is on it. The inch metric dials are in good shape. Overall, it's a decent machine. You can check this out on our website, mullinmachinery.com. That's M-U-L-L-I-N machinery.com for all your tool room and fabricating needs.